Should you encourage a parent to get a green card, even if they want to spend most of their time outside the United States? I'm Eric Widman. I'm an immigration lawyer. And if you're a U.S. citizen, you have the ability to petition for a foreign national parent, a parent who's outside the United States, does not have U.S. citizenship, and allow that person to enter the U.S. and live with you as a green card holder, a permanent resident in the United States. For many parents, this can make sense. For many families, it can make sense. But quite a few parents are also reluctant to leave the life that they knew behind and come permanently, irrevocably, they think, to the United States. And they believe it could be a really rough transition. They want to spend more time with the grandkids, perhaps. They want to be able to reliably come in to the U.S. and not have concerns about their visitor visa being taken away, for example, or international power politics between the U.S. government and your parents' home country government, a green card would certainly be a reliable way to have access to the United States and live within the U.S. for the long term. But one of the requirements for having a green card is that you spend the majority of your time here and that it is your permanent home that your ties and connections in the U.S. outweigh your ties, the parents' ties outside the United States, and they must have essentially moved their lives over here and live the majority of their time in the United States. A way to help ease the transition and a great option that you can pitch and explain to your parents is that it is possible for them to get what's called a re-entry permit to come into the United States as a green card holder, but then spend the majority of their time outside the United States as needed as they transition over here. They wouldn't have to cut off their lives entirely and they could even spend, they wouldn't have to cut off their lives outside the United States. They could spend with a re-entry permit a majority of their time outside the United States and even exceed being outside the U.S. for a year because they have a re-entry permit. This re-entry permit effectively protects their green card, their permanent resident status, and allows them to come back into the United States even after an extended trip. The re-entry permit is good for two years initially, and you can renew it typically for successive one-year periods. It's done on form I-131, and it is a very common procedure. The denial rates are not that high, but you have to be within the United States to apply for a re-entry permit, have your biometrics done, and you can even have your re-entry permit sent to your parents' home country as needed and pick it up at the local closest embassy or consulate. So the re-entry permit is a great tool to facilitate the transition and ease the process of psychologically for your parents and in reality physically allowing them to spend enough time outside the United States so that they don't have the feeling of being cut off from the life that they've known for decades. Also we found, and this makes sense, that as time passes and they get used to living in the United States, the transition goes more and more smoothly, they'll want to spend more time in the U.S. They will integrate their lives here. They'll make friends here. They'll spend time with your family and others, and they'll naturally want to spend more time here as, as time goes by. Let us know if you have any questions about this, and definitely take care.